Hello Rhinos, have you just been given a blood glucose meter, you've done a blood test and you're not sure what all of the numbers mean, then this video is for you. Why am I qualified to talk about this? Well, my name is John Collett and in March 2018, I got diagnosed with type two diabetes and within six months, I managed to reverse my condition and I wanna help you do the same. So first of all, I wanna discuss with you what all the different terminology means before we get into what levels are normal, pre-diabetic and type two diabetic. When you went to the doctors, he does a blood test and he does something called a HbA1c test. And this tests the amount of glucose that is in your system over a three month period. It's a far more accurate way of saying if you're a type two diabetic or a pre-diabetic. But if you've done a blood glucose test, you might have noticed that that came out as, as a number which is MGDL or MMOL millimoles per liter. So first of all, the blood test that you do with a glucose meter is a blood test that you do right now. It tells you what your test is, your blood is right now. And if you do it at one o'clock and do another one at five past one and another one at 10 past one, they'll all be different, okay? <laughs> now, MGDL is a measurement of blood that in the US they tend to use. And in the UK and Europe, we tend to use MMOL. But you don't need to worry about it. You just need to know what ranges you want to be in to be considered normal. So let's look at the chart. Now on the chart here, what you can see, we've got a fasting level. We got a level for two hours after eating. And then we got your normal HbA1c. So let's just deal with the normal range first. Now fasting, okay, fasting is your blood sugar before you eat your meal, okay? Now if you do this first thing in the morning, right, so you get up in the morning, you have your breakfast, say about you get up at seven or six and you have your breakfast an hour later, then please expect this number to be higher. And the reason for this is called a dawn effect and it's your liver producing sugar to wake you up. It's perfectly normal. Okay, so don't panic about it. Now, if you're in the normal range and it's MGDL, your numbers are gonna be between, are gonna be between 70 to 100. Two hours, after, two hours after eating, you'd expect it to be less than 140, but between 100 and 140. And then if you're from Europe or the UK, your MMOL should be around the 3.8 to six in a fasting range and less than a 7.8 two hours after eating. If that's the case, you haven't got type two diabetes. If you're pre-diabetic, these numbers in a fasting range in MGDL will be between 100 and 125, and two hours after eating, about 140 to 199 MGDL. And your A1C test from the doctor would come back 5.3 to 6.4. Now in Europe and the UK, your MMOL fasting would be 5.6 to 6.9, and two hours after eating, 7.8 to 11. Now, type two diabetic. If you test your fasting blood sugar and it comes out anywhere higher than 126 mgdl or seven mmol, then you're, you're definitely in the type two diabetic range. If after eating it's over a 200 or over 11, you're definitely in that range. And your A1C that comes back from the doctor will be over a 6.5 and he'll definitely let you know about that, okay? Now, if you have found this chart useful and you would like, I have got a free gift for you. We got a spreadsheet which you can download. Go into the description, uh, the, click on the link, that'll take you to a website your name and your email address in there you'll get an email with a spreadsheet where you can record your blood sugars now the nice thing about this it also 
convert it into A1C for you. You can also register your weight, your height, and your measurements. So I hope you enjoy that. We also got a 12 week program where called reversing type two diabetes. And if you wanna reverse your type two diabetes naturally, there's another link in the description. It'll take you to my website and you can book a 15 minute discovery call with me, which is completely free, okay? And all we'll do is see if the program is a good fit for you. And if you're a good fit for the program, and then we'll take it from there. Now, if you're concerned that you are a type two diabetic, I got another video here of the 11 symptoms you should look out for that set tells you, warns you if you're a type two diabetic. Remember, you're not a number, you're a rhino. Now charge. Mm -hmm.